Okay, so right now you are going to look live. This is at CNN's Techwood campus in Midtown, just off 10th Street. A little more than 48 hours from now, a lot of people will have their eyes here. The nation's political epicenter. That's where President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump will be meeting for their first debate and among the big items on their agenda, trying to reach those undecided voters. And you know what? There was a new poll that just came out by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. It showed that about 20% of these voters are either undecided or they plan to vote for third party candidates. We want to head out live to 11 Lives Doug Richards, live at that debate site, with what some of these undecided voters are saying, Doug. Yeah, we've got a bit of a bird's eye view of the debate site, the campus of the company formerly known as Turner Broadcasting, uh, the parent company of CNN, which is hosting the debate. Uh, backers of uh, former President Trump and President Biden. Uh, are saying that Thursday's debate will highlight a stark choice between the two ideologies. But a surprising number of voters tell us they haven't seen that yet. Maybe uh, neither one of them ought to be president. Maybe we should just go without a president for a little while. Richard Brown of Stone Mountain looks at Joe Biden and Donald Trump and sees only dysfunction. Kind of like a, a toxic relationship you know, where you just need to work on yourself. Maybe we ought to do that. Not have a president. Brown was at the airport catching a flight for a vacation during which he says he has no plan to watch the Thursday debate between Trump and Biden. But I think that that would be an interesting debate. But Ashley Lambert, visiting from Oklahoma, says she will watch. She says she was inclined to like Trump. He recently picked up all those felony charges. <laughs> I don't know how that's okay. necessarily going to work. Because both candidates, Biden and Trump, have occupied the White House, some undecided voters say their track records are part of the problem. It's the lack of promises. I mean, every year the people have promised uh, certain things to make our lives better and so forth. And really, we haven't been seeing that. All of the undecided voters that we talked with say that yeah, it's entirely possible that they will see something in this debate uh, that nudges them into the camp of Biden or Trump or somewhere else. Um, it's worth remembering always as we're watching this uh, debate coverage that there's going to be four more months before the votes are counted. Uh, a lot can happen. We are live in Midtown tonight. Uh, back to you.